Hello everyone, welcome back. Now our EKS cluster has been created. You can see it is active now. It's time to create a worker node for this EKS cluster. So for that, you have to click on configuration. Under configuration, you will see compute. And there is this option to create a node group. So click on add node group. You can give any name here. EKS worker node and select a role here you need to create a role again like we did for the EKS cluster so press here for IAM console and let's create a role click create role under AWS services you select EC2 then press next here we need to select three policies I will show you what are the policies just search for EKS so you will see CNI policy select that come down and you will see worker node policy Amazon EKS worker node policy select that as well then uh, registry container registry read only access so say registry you see read only registry here select that click next add tag if needed click review then uh, you can give any name here I am giving a case worker you can change the description if you want create role now this role has been created now let's go back to the case worker node creation window let's refresh it and now we will be able to see such a role just select that Scroll down, you will see launch template. Launch template, uh, this is also another option to create the worker node. Uh, I will show you in my upcoming videos about the launch template. For the time being, you can ignore this. Add label, if you want to add label, you can do that. Add taints, if you want to add taint, you can do that as well. I will include these options for, in details in my upcoming video and tag tag as I mentioned earlier it's an optional option you can add any tag if you want as per your requirement for this video I'm not adding any of this I'm just keeping everything default click next now uh, AMI type I'm selecting the default one capacity type on demand or spot you can get Right now, I am selecting on demand. In, in my upcoming videos, I will include the option for spot as well. Let's select the instant type. I am selecting a T3 small. Uh, if you look at this option, you can see maximum IPs is tall. That means the maximum code you can create here it is tall. Uh, so you have to select a minimum number of at least 8 to 12 uh, ports options otherwise uh, you might run out of uh, option of creating a new port so let's uh, begin with the t3 small this space this size i'm selecting 10 gb node group scaling configuration need node scale group scaling configuration is used to scale the uh, nodes inside the kubernetes services uh, it can be any number as you wish it's as is per your requirement for this video i'm just selecting one one maximum one minimum and one decide and the number of maximum unavailable you need to mention it here how many can go unavailable at a, at a time this cannot go below one so i am selecting one 
plus next and all the subnets which were in the VPC when we selected the PKS case cluster is displayed here or selected here you can uh, use it or you can remove any of them as per your requirement configure SSH is an option to log into the nodes if you want but usually uh, uh, from my for my uh, experience uh, usually I don't uh, log into any nodes directly I'm using a controller client machine which I will be showing you in details how to create a controller client machine from AWS itself this is an EC2 instance from there I used to log into a, all the nodes I mean uh, manage all the Kubernetes services so I'm not going to directly SSH to any of the nodes so if in case anyone needs access to the nodes then this option has to be enabled now for the time being I'm not enabling it click next and this is the review option you can review it and press create again uh, it will take some time at least 10 minutes of time to create the worker node group so let's wait for that and I will I will start the video again I will stop the video here and I will create another video as part 3 thank you